What's up guys? I can't believe that we are already doing this. Today we are going to be preparing for Koba J's first birthday. This year has just completely flown by and I can't believe that my baby is going to be one. So we decided that we are doing her birthday photo shoot before her actual birthday, just because she's getting spayed on the 18th and her birthday isn't until December 3rd. So I wanted her to be good and healed on her birthday so that she could actually enjoy it. So we are doing it ahead of time, the weekend before she does her spay. I have a bunch of little things to get ready. A lot of the stuff I'm using was the same things that I used for Larcy's birthday. So if you saw that, it's going to be a very similar theme and hopefully you enjoy it just as much as hopefully she does. So just like for Larcy's first birthday, I had a chalkboard sign made and I used the exact same Etsy seller that I used last year. And I will have everything linked down in the description box if you find something that you liked. I will have everybody linked down there. But this is Koba J's little poster that I had made on there for her. I'm just going to put it in a frame so that it is ready to go. I bought it in an 8x10 size, so I'm going to put it in an 8x10 frame. So I got the poster into the frame, and the next thing I'm going to work on is the letter board, getting that ready. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that this is the letter board that I have used for all of their monthly birthdays and now annual birthdays. So I'm going to switch that out from 11 months to a year. Alright, now we got the letter board done. Here are the two dog bakeries on Etsy that I use. I'm going to open both of these up and unwrap everything just so that way it's ready to go and get it packaged in little storage containers. These are all vacuum sealed, so I just have to cut these open. So these six are all from Gemma Rose Dog Bakery. You can choose like which shapes that you want, what colors you want, what do you want them to say. I just did a custom box of six and these are the colors and shapes that I chose. Now these next ones are from Butters, Barkery, and Postery. And it says all the ingredients and everything right on the side which is really nice. All of these ones come individually wrapped. So I'm just gonna go through and unwrap all of these. Here are the cookies from that. This is a custom box where you can get any name that you want, the age, and then they just send you these cute little extra ones as well. And here is a little sneak peek of her cake. So the reason why I got her this cake is because she's named after one of my brothers who unfortunately passed away. And my brother Jacob was a very messy child and would have to sit by himself for meals because he was so messy. So when I saw this little ice cream cone tipped over, making a mess on the cake, I knew this was the perfect cake for Koba J. They also sent us this happy birthday topper for the cake, and then we just went to Walmart to find a little one to stick into the cake, so obviously this is not gonna be dog friendly, but just a cute little one to go with the theme here. And I still have a ton of balloons from Larcy's birthday, as well as her balloon arch. Some of the balloons are definitely way smaller than they were when I put them on, but I think I think it still looks okay. And then here are the one balloons that I have for her. I got the big number one whenever I reached one million views, so I kept the balloon from that. And then this one, if you can believe it, is the same one I used last year for Larshi's first birthday. And you can tell that it's losing a little bit of air, but it's definitely still usable. So I think that's really cute that I'll be able to use the exact same one. And then here are all of the balloons from Larshi's birthday. 
that are left over. And then here are two new packs that I bought as well as a whole new helium tank because the one that I had before is empty. So I have to figure out how to recycle that. So I did end up blowing up some balloons for the photo shoot, but as you will see, it was kind of pointless because it was so cold outside. The balloons literally did not float with the helium at all because it was too cold outside. Then I just started getting everything together to pack up to take for the photo shoot. We did want snow for her photo shoot just because she has a winter birthday. And I know it's hard to see through this clip here, but it actually was snowing and it was starting to stick. So we got super excited. So then I just loaded us up in the car with all of our stuff. As you can see, it was a little chaotic and we were off to the photo shoot. Everything got completely soaked and wet, which is totally fine. But here is some behind the scenes of that photo shoot and her eating her cake. Or just leave them. Just leave them. Ready? Let me see your face. Oh, so yummy. Can you sit? Coco, sit. She's like, I can, but I'm not going to. So. <laughs> so I'm on my lunch break and I still have to wrap all of Coco's presents. So that is what I'm going to do now while I'm home and have a second. I got this really pretty pink wrapping paper from Target. It's actually Christmas wrapping paper, but I'm going to use it for her birthday and their Christmas presents because our tree is pink and rose gold, so it will go along with the theme anyways. I wasn't really sure what to get her because I didn't have like one exact thing that I really, really wanted for her like I did with Larcy this year. So I got her four different things and hopefully uh, she likes them. <laughs> I got her this Super Chewer from Arc. It is a huge ball and there is a squeaker in here, but it's really, really, really hard to squeak this. I've never tried any of their stuff, but I had some credits to use for CVS. So this is one of the things that I got. And then I found this on Amazon. It's a little Instagram chew toy. And I thought that this was gonna be way bigger than it is. This is like $15, it's tiny. And then I thought I would try something different. There's this like rubber chew toy that I think is supposed to be beef flavored. So hopefully she enjoys this. I also get this from Amazon. And then I got her a snuffle mat. I have been debating on trying a snuffle mat for the longest time and I finally decided to get one, try it out. They love doing nose work and they love in their ball pit. If I put treats in there, they have to sniff around and get them out. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping that they would like a snuffle mat as well, but I guess we will find out. I'm gonna wrap this one first since it's the biggest item. It's like really, really thick paper and I'm definitely gonna get ton of glitter everywhere because I can already see it. Oh, what the heck? This tape is not even sticking to it. Um... Okay, so this is not working out. The tape will not stick to the wrapping paper. I even tried using packaging tape. Still doesn't work. And then I tried to kind of tape it on the inside to the other inside and that also does not stick. So I googled it and it said that you're supposed to glue the paper on. So I guess we're gonna try that. So much for trying to buy cute wrapping paper. I'm really scared to move my hands. I feel like as soon as I move my hands the paper's just gonna slide. One, two, three. Nope. Nope. Still didn't work, so how the heck am I gonna use this freaking wrapping paper? I might just not be able to use it at all. Okay, well, without totally tearing the basement apart, I did find this Christmas wrapping paper. Not very birthday-ish, but it's gonna have to do because I am running out of time, and even though I care, I know she won't care what color her wrapping paper is or what's on it, so we're gonna go with that. I think I spent like five, six dollars on it too, so that kind of sucks. I got like 20 minutes, so let's try to knock this out real quick. All right, so we got the snuffle mat done. And then with this little guy, hopefully I can fit at least one of these in here. All right, let's do this one. We got the bone done. Now all we have left are these two. Got 
Instagram toy done. I was playing with her Ferris wheel. My mom has been working on three bags of toys that need surgery. So she has been helping me try to get everything fixed so that the girls can have their toys back. I mean, they still have a ton of freaking toys, but there's literally three garbage bags full of toys that have like a tear in it that need surgery. When I saw my mom over Thanksgiving, she gave me one of the bags back of the toys that were already done. Well, there's already three, if not four toys that have already opened up with little tears. Again, they love the big, huge Ferris wheel. Larcy loves putting her neck through the little hole and wearing it around her neck like a chain. I always call her Lava Flav because it reminds me of him wearing around the big clocks. And Alcoba has been trying to do the same thing. I honestly only bought that toy because I thought it was cute. And it was part of Petco's fair collection. I bought almost all the fair toys that they have. Got this one done. Now all four of them are done. Let's see if I can catch them playing over the railing. What are you girls doing? Where's your Ferris wheel? Oh, there it is. Our living room looks like this literally all of the time. Toys, 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 out, toys. You put them away, they get more out. I think that's it. I think that is everything all set for her first birthday. But I got her presents wrapped, her cake, her cookies, all that stuff. We did her photo shoot. On Friday, on her actual birthday, I am taking off work just like I did with Larcy and I'm gonna do a shopping spree with Koba as well that is just gonna be like their birthday theme this year. Going on a shopping spree, 10 different stores, letting them pick out whatever they want from any of the stores, all of the stores if they want, and then just making the day all about them so hopefully she likes it hopefully she has fun hopefully she gets lots of pets and lots of attention because she is such a snuggle bug and thinks everybody is obsessed with her just because mom and dad are obsessed with her but yeah we'll see how it goes and i will uh update you guys with the next video which is going to be her first birthday special so get ready for that on sunday if you enjoyed watching me get ready for her first birthday make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already and we will see you guys in the next video bye guys